Hi, I'm Mrs. K, and this is Mr. Mixup, who always gets mixed up doing his math. And he always forgets. I keep having to remind him all the time still. So today, he's going to try adding one-digit numbers, not two-digit numbers, one-digit numbers. Right, Mr. Mixup? Are you going to try your best? Okay, so here's the math question right here. Seven plus six. Mr. Mixup's going to try it. Okay, and I want you to see if you can figure out what Mr. Mixup is getting mixed up on. Let's go, Mr. Mixup. Are you ready? Okay, we're back. Mr. Mixup, did you try your best? Well, let's take a look at the question. Seven plus six. Okay, you ready? Hmm. Mr. Mixup, did you spot the one thing Mr. Mixup got mixed up on? Yes. Look at the addition sign, Mr. Mixup. You subtracted. It's adding. Look it. It's an adding sign. Okay? So when you have seven, you're going to add six more. You're not taking away six. Okay? And a good idea is to do an estimate. Okay? Either round it off by tens or think of your doubles. Do an estimate before you start, and then you know if your answer is somewhat close. Okay, Mr. Mixup? So next time, start, do an estimate, look at your, whether it's adding or subtracting, and then do an estimate first, okay? Okay, let's try it again, Mr. Mixup. Okay, Mr. Mixup, did you try your best? Okay, let's see. Were you able to find two more things that Mr. Mixup got mixed up on? Let's help Mr. Mixup out, okay? Okay, let's see. This is good. Okay, you, he did an estimate. So you're thinking what seven doubled. So that's a close estimate. That's a good estimate. And he did tallies. Okay, so we did tallies for seven and we did tallies for six. So that's good. Now let's see down here. Hmm. What's this number, Mr. Mixup? Is that supposed to be a number three? Oh my goodness sakes. Mr. Mixup, remember one of the things to work on is not writing your numbers backwards. Okay, so can you reverse that number? 
Okay, so if that was a three, that would be 31. That's not close to your estimate, Mr. Mixup. Hmm. Oh, I know. You got mixed up on your ones column and your tens column. You can think there's an imaginary line that goes down there dividing the ones and the tens. So this is your tens and this is your ones column. So the one should have been in the tens column and the three should have been in the ones column. So do you want to try it again, Mr. Mixup? Okay, and try your best, okay? Can you hold the whiteboard for me so it doesn't fall? Mr. Mixup is such a good helper. Okay, he's going to try it one more time. Okay, you ready? Okay, remember you're adding. Okay, don't get your ones and your tens column mixed up and make sure you write your numbers the right way, okay? Okay, let's try it again. Sometimes it's good to draw an imaginary line down here, Mr. Mixup, so you know this is the ones and this is the tens, okay? So just do a little dotted line. Okay, so that's your ones column, and that will be your tens column. Got it? Okay, remember, do the number three the right way. Good. Okay, so you have three ones. Five plus five is ten, so you have one group of ten. Okay, this is your tens column. Well, Mr. Mixup, he did it! He did it! He didn't get mixed up this time. That's super duper awesome, Mr. Mixup. Are you happy? Are you really happy? Awesome! Okay, so three things Mr. Mixup needs to work on. Okay, look to see whether it's adding or subtracting. Try not to reverse your numbers. Okay, and don't get your ones and tens columns mixed up. Okay, and that was excellent. You did, you estimated, and you used tallies to help you figure out the answer. That's excellent. Keep it up, Mr. Mixup. Okay, super. Say goodbye to everybody, okay? Say goodbye. See you next time.